CNIV presents Know Your Rights. Access denied. Victoria's story. Victoria is led by a guide dog along a hallway. Hi, my name is Victoria Nolan, and this is my guide dog, Alan. Having a guide dog has been life-changing. It has enhanced my confidence and independence. Before joining the CNIB team, I was a teacher and represented Canada at the Paralympics. I've encountered many barriers with my guide dog. Whether it's restaurants, taxis, or hospitals, I'm often told that my guide dog isn't allowed even when that's against the law. Unfortunately, many businesses and organizations still aren't doing enough to make sure their employees are properly trained. Victoria steps out of an elevator. One time, I was entering a hospital with my guide dog, Alan. A security guard stopped me and told me I was not allowed to bring my dog into the building. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, there's no dogs in the hospital. I know normally you wouldn't allow pet dogs in here, but I'm blind and this is my guide dog. Uh, I'm not denying you access, just your dog, and it's against hospital policy. She sighs. Situations like this make me feel frustrated, humiliated, and make me feel vulnerable. Because someone hasn't been trained properly, I'm being denied access and I'm being stripped of my independence. So what are my rights? In Ontario, there's more than one piece of legislation that protects me. First, under the Ontario Human Rights Code, it's against the law to discriminate against me because I have sight loss and work with a guide dog. Service providers have a legal duty to accommodate me so that I'm able to receive an equal level of service as anyone else. What is legally required depends on the situation, so it's important to get help from a lawyer. Second, the Ontario Blind Persons Rights Act and many municipal bylaws have legal protections that give me the right to enter places and access services that are open to the public. Now, let's rewind and look at one possible solution to this scenario. I'm not denying you access, just your dog, and it's against hospital policy. Can I speak to your supervisor or someone in charge? Uh, okay, sure. Uh, follow me. Later, Victoria sits in a lounge. Victoria? Yes. Hi, I'm Susan, a supervisor here at the hospital, and I'm terribly sorry this happened. Of course, you and your guide dog have every right to be here, and we're going to schedule some retraining so that this doesn't happen again. Thank you. It's not always easy to stand up for your rights. Sometimes you're feeling vulnerable or you're pressed for time, or sometimes it's hard to know just what your rights are. Thankfully, there are many community and legal supports available in Ontario for people with disabilities. For more information, please visit cnib.ca. To help break down barriers, please share this video on social media. This video was created with financial support from the Law Foundation of Ontario. The Law Foundation of Ontario, advancing access to justice, lawfoundation.on.ca. While financially supported by the Law Foundation of Ontario, CNIB is solely responsible for all content.